In between area, but sometimes even then, yes. that's not an in between area. But sometimes even then, yes. that's not an in between area. But sometimes even then, yes. that's not an. Yep, I go with this man. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Do this, man. What we got? Beyond the NBA is the neighborhood. Compete online and customize your My Player. You can even get your own card in My Team to bring your My Player to Unlimited. With your My Court, you can make it what you want it to be and invite NBA players or your friends over for competitive games like horse or some friendly pickup games. And we can't forget about 2K Compete events. We have Dodgeball, Capture the Flag, Trivia, and more. With massive takeover events. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here. Shaq's here. Kenny's here. Welcome to this edition of 2K Sports. I'm in. In a few moments, we'll be sending you out to Portland as the Trailblazers go up against the Los Angeles Lakers. And for Los Angeles, the game tonight marks their second of four meetings they will play this season, and they come into this one feeling pretty good after winning the last time they met. You know, second-guessing coaches, it's a, that's a slippery slope. Mm. But let me at least pose the question. Kenny, from what you've seen from AI so far, mm -hmm. should he be starting for this team? Yeah, he has the talent, Ernie. I'm not really sure why he's on the bench. There must be something I'm not seeing because I'm not in practice every day. You know, so he designs his rotations based on it. But based on appearance, that guy should be out there. Kenny, in college, you played for the legendary Dean Smith. I yes. played for the legendary Dale Brown. Yes. And coaches want their players to earn minutes. Mm. Ernie, AI's done everything they ask of him and more. Set him loose. Set him loose. And uh, right now, with, Release the, the hounds. with the tip <laughs> upcoming, time to send it to Kevin Harlan for the call. Yes. I'm a beast, man. I go hard. You feel me? <laughs> I'm good. Let's do this. Let's do this, man. Hey, what's going on, AI? Not much. Not much. We are in the City of Roses, Portland, Oregon, home to the Trailblazers, where we'll be broadcasting today's action live. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. Portland playing for the home crowd again tonight. Well, compared to last season, you'd have to say the start to this season has not been quite what you'd expect. They hope to, they hope to improve their record with the win tonight, certainly. And it's in your DNA. You come up against a natural rival, you're going to be a little bit salty. You know, that's what makes these games great. I mean, no love lost between these two squads. It's great competition with a little animus sprinkled in there. And with pregame routines coming to an end, we're just about ready for our tip-off. First, though, let's get a report from the sideline and say hello to David Aldridge. Well, guys, we know the history between these two. AI got his career started with a dunk on Harris that went viral. Now, talking to AI, he said, it's something we can laugh about now. We've been through a lot together. And both Harris and AI know that they're fortunate that they're now teammates and they can keep going forward. I like Guys? It. I like it. 
Another great report, David. Thank you. There is a lot of chemistry built between That's AI awesome. and Harris already. And guys, you can't understate how important it is to have that much experience between two players. You can tell that Harris and AI know each other's tendencies when they're out there on the floor together. And for teams not enjoying a quick start to the season, Clark, how long until they start to push the panic button, making some big moves? You know, Kevin, I don't think you ever can push the panic button. I think you have to have a sense of what direction you're going, be realistic about who you are and what you have. And that's where good leadership comes in, not just with the team itself, from the coaches to the players, Three checked in for the Trailblazers. Rodney Hood comes in for Jake Lehman. And then for the Lakers. AIs checked in for JaVale McGee. Ingram comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Rajon Rondo is subbed in for Lonzo Ball. Taking a look at Los Angeles. The forwards are Ingram and LeBron. Harris is out there with Rajon Rondo. And it's AI in at the center. Rondo kicks to Harris. Looking for Ingram, he gets it in there. Lakers working the ball around now. Down low. It's tipped, and the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Cantor. Let's give a look now at the 2K leaderboard to see who led the league in assists last year. LeBron James second, Rajon Rondo fourth. And really two terrific distributors. I mean, the first thing you look for in a teammate is the ability to get you the ball, and they both have that down to a tee. Here's AI. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Portland leading. The pass to McCollum. Inside. And Cantor throws it down. Good ball movement. Wonderful pass. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. Lakers have gone just a shade under 50% from the field. 5 of 11. Harris passes to AI. And it's in there. Just really unselfish there. Harris is someone who knows when one of his guys is wide open. Rondo against Lillard. He kicks it to Cantor. Sinks that one from the post. And the Trailblazers lead by four. Well, I tell you what, they've got to be fuming. I mean, they were way too late in contesting that layup. Rondo against Lillard. Pass to Harris. Just his first attempt. That's good on the jump shot. And this is how lethal Harris can be off the pass. Excellent at catching the D by surprise. And Lillard kicks to Cantor. McCollum against Harris. 14 feet away. No good off the front iron. He's been terrible. Absolutely off. I mean, he can't get it going. His shot isn't there right now. You got to help him some other ways. I mean, the confidence coming into play here. Harris knows he's got what it takes to knock down that three ball. McCollum outside. Over Harris. That one drops, and he's now two for five. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas. And he drains those. And the Lakers check on two more. He's just so polished on offense. Harris has what it takes to score from the mid-range. you got to step up on it. Lillard finds Canner. McCollum outside. Good on the triple. McCollum's got eight points. Beautiful pick that time by Damian Lillard. So for the Trailblazers, their last game a loss to the Pelicans. Aminu against LeBron, and there's a foul. It's on C.J. McCollum. That's foul number two for him. For the Trailblazers, Myers Leonard, he's checked in for Aminu. And Maurice Harkless subbed in for C.J. McCollum. Tyson Chandler, he's checked in for the Lakers. Caldwell Pope comes in for Harris. Four on the clock, shot on the wing. Here's A.I. Portland grabs the miss. Hey. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, that was more than just a tough loss. That, that was a complete embarrassment. Yeah, the woodshed is what we call that. They annihilated them. Simply had no answers for how to slow them down. Ingram kicks to Chandler. 
Back to Ingram. To the middle. Here's AI. Excellent D from Cancer. Wow. That's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You got to protect the rim. Mm-hmm. Textbook defense all around. Nice job at contesting the shot without fouling. And that's how you do it. Well done. And Clark, a lot of great names to choose from, but who would you pick for your greatest Laker ever? Wow, that's always tough when you have such a robust nice. list, Kevin. I always start with Kareem whenever he's in the conversation because that guy was my idol as I grew up watching the game. So Kareem is there, Magic, Wilt, Shaq, Elgin, and Jerry West, and Kobe. No, no, no. That's too many, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. Wow. Some great names there, though, Clark. You're right. Hard to pick just one. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. To the paint. Knocked away. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain wow. possession. Off the inbound. And Rajon Rondo, okay. the basket on the assist by AI. And when he's knocking okay. down these shots, uh, it makes this team super dangerous. You, you got to respect the touch there by Rondo. Now here's Harkless. He's covered by Ingram. Lock at six. Alert against Rondo. Fires from 14. Again, wow. the Trailblazers good for two. And he can score from all over the court. But but Lillard at his best from mid-range. He deserves extra special attention from the defense in that in-between area. But sometimes, even then, yes. that's not enough. And, guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And, guys, I like the fact that he chose the one hand tomahawk slam because you get a wow, lot higher it. when you go off one hand and one foot yeah that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc five seconds separating the shot and game clocks rondo against lillard rondo kicks to ai and he banks in the layup ai's got six points I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Lillard from outside. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. And when Lillard's hitting the tray ball, it really opens things up for him. As good a passer as he is, he becomes a major headache for the D if he gets hot from beyond. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for Portland. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. Right back at... One of the most lethal scorers in the game, all-star Damian Lillard, talks about why confidence is big for him. I like a challenge. Um, I love being here, and I, I feel like, you know, if I have the confidence in myself that I say I have, then we could bring in some guys that uh, can get better, and we can build something uh, from here on out. Um, same thing happened with Golden State. You know, nobody talked about Golden State four years ago. And the Blazers, Greg, disappointed with yeah. last year's first-round defeat, but right. they've assembled some nice talent. And like he said, we've seen teams jump into title contention more quickly than expected in the past. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. What stands out to you guys from the Trailblazers so far in this one? They've gotten that perimeter game going in that first, and for me, that was the difference. Yep, firing with confidence and rhythm, Greg. I mean, not allowing the defense to yes. take a break. So on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter, Rondo and Caldwell Pope in the backcourt. And Stevenson is out there with Chandler, and it's AI in at the five, down low. Stevenson outside. 
Off to a good nice. start as he hits his first shot attempt. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Trailblazers. They're looking for a little bit of redemption in this one after the loss to them here last time. Yeah, and looking back at their last game against this club, they were badly out-rebounded. Yeah, kind of and that turned the tide, the rebounding differential. Wow. They've got to focus and make it a team effort to really pound the glass. And, you know, it's obvious he's a talented scorer. I mean, that's a given. A guy you can depend on to get it done in a lot of ways. Chandler and the rejection by Leonard. Let's go, Rondo! Rondo kicks to Stevenson. Three-pointer on the way. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Jake Lehman's checked in for Portland. The Lakers also changing it up. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Chandler. And Ball subbed in for Rajon Rondo. And Lance Stevenson. Man, I could say a ton about this guy, but he is a player who thrives in chaos. Broken plays, odd situations. Those are where Lance is at his best. I mean, he likes to play as a freestyler, and he excels in that capacity. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Six to shoot. Here's Lehman. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And with Lance Stevenson, sometimes he'll pull off an improvised play, Clark, that just drops your jaw. Yeah, he's <laughs> one of the most instinctive players I've ever seen. I mean, he does do some things that want you that could cause you to pull your hair out if you have any. But uh, this guy is um, competitive, great size, and um, he ignites a team because he can do a lot of things to help you win. Here's Kuzma. Trains it from beyond the arc. Thank you. Kuzma's got eight points. The timing, the rhythm. Kuzma really does a nice job catching the defense off guard with those catch and shoot jumpers. Lillard against Ball. And Lillard kicks to Leonard. Lehman passes to Lillard. Launches a three. The shot misses, and it's the Lakers the other way. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. And, and once they established that flow offensively, really never got any resistance from the D. And, you know, Greg, they were sinking shots left and right, and that's got to be demoralizing for the defense. They were in a real zone. And last season, not a beat miss for KCP. Even after switching teams, he played his same brand of defense. Unfortunately... The lack of bite shooting the ball stayed the same as well. That's an area he's got to improve. And the shot is good. 15 points for Damian Lillard. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Stevenson kicks to AI. Back to Stevenson. To the inside. And he gets yes. the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And Clark, for KCP, you play him for the defense and just hope he helps you out on the offensive side in some way. Well, you know, he's never been an efficient scorer, yes. Kevin, but you don't need him to be. I mean, the steals are always going to be there, and he's a nuisance on that end of the floor and can guard just about any perimeter position. He's also improved his rebounding, which allows him to help in a lot of ways. So this guy defensively on the glass, he's a winner and a keeper. And Lillard kicks to Leonard, shoots over Kuzma. Nurkic. And the rejection by LeBron. And a wide open look for McCollum. Oh my the three pointer is right on target. McCollum's got 11 points. And that's an element McCollum brings to their offense the ability to drain the outside shot. It stretches the defense and makes them keep bodies wow. on wow. the perimeter. You just make the assumption that that's going down. I mean, an uncontested mid range jumper, I think he should have buried it. But you know what? He did. It happened. And that one's good. Lillard 
he's going to force them to have to make adjustments. That's number four in terms of triples in the half. McCollum against Stevenson. Kept alive. James outside. Back to AI. James outside. Los Angeles with another miss. Trailblazers leading by seven. Here's McCollum. And the shot falls short this time. And that's the shot you want to create. They just can't get it to fall. That's what I call an everything but. Good execution. Just didn't knock it down. But you're right. They're happy with that shot. And Lillard kicks to McCollum. Leonard looking around. And Damian Lillard with the bucket on the assist from Leonard. Wow. Lillard's got the lead up to seven now for the Trailblazers. Timeout called the Lakers. There's something timeless about a star tandem, Clark. Uh, Jordan and Pippen, Kobe and Shaq, Steph and KD. What's needed for guys at that level to play together and coexist? I think the biggest thing is an appreciation and respect for one another. I mean, that to me is the beginning point of coexisting at a high level because you're going to have some friction you're going to have some disagreements but all of that can be put to the side when there's great appreciation and respect for each other and a real focus on what wow. we're trying to get done you get that in place then the talent will rise to the very top defense has no answer for him i mean none they look completely lost he's been on fire lakers trail by nine LeBron dishes to Harris. Back to LeBron. AI up top. Why are you giving it to me? LeBron outside. Fires from deep. Portland grabs the miss. Norkic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebounded and that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game get to work on the glass that's just raw strength and harris not allowing the defense to overpower him on the way up and let's take a moment here to get your guys take on scoring so far for the trailblazers well i'll tell you what they must have had yes. a good shoot around because they've been fantastic from long range so far fellas and they've also got a big boost in the early going tonight with their productivity at the free throw line. Really a sign of aggression. Here's AI. Nurkic with the block. Wow. Where did he come from? Here's Lehman. James covering. Lehman kicks to McCullough. Inside. The shot by Lehman, no good. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. To the paint, Nurkic, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's on LeBron James. And for Yusuf Nurkic, you see the flashes of how dominant he can be in every game. I mean, the potential is there, and he is working hard to find that consistency. I do believe he's noticeably better when he plays with an edge. He's, he's more in tune with what's going on. You, you almost want to rile him up or, or do something to tick him off before every game to get the best out of him. And it's Corey Harris penetrating. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Norkic has got rebound number eight now on the night. Inside. And that basket pushes the lead to double digits. Wow. Layman's got eight. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. Yeah, and you can tell they feel like they can get inside whenever they want to. I mean, it's been carte blanche, full menu for them, and the defense really not offering nice. any resistance. The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy dude. Very, very well done. Alert against Ball. The three. Wow. And that's good. Damian Lillard for three. Lillard's got 25 points. 
It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Los Angeles calls timeout. And Damian Lillard has always been an incredible scorer. His range and ability to create let him carry the load on offense. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far hasn't been close. Portland out in front, up by 16. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Really an incredible. It's checked in for C.J. McCollum. A.I. is checked in for the Lakers. Lance Stevenson comes in for James. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Pass to A.I. Lillard against Harris. Kicks it to ball from past the arc. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Layman is out there with Aminu. Then it's Rodney Hood. Then it's Damian Lillard. And it's Nurkic in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. Well, uh, this is what he likes to do. Try to break your spirit. I think he's trying to put this one away, quite honestly. I mean, feels like he can lay it up against any type of defense, and he can. Yeah, that, that's got them over the limit with a lot of time still left. They're going to have to tone it down, or they may end up giving up a lot of free throws here. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring wow. breakdown for the Trailblazers. And they need the long range. Wow. Looks like a layup at times in this one, guys. They've also been pounding it inside tonight and coming away with a lot of points in the paint. I call those PIPs. Ennis Canners checked in for Al Farouk Aminu. Here's the teardrop. He can't get that one to fall. Nice D from Lillard. Hood for three. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got his third assist on the night. Yeah, you know, Lillard has been so good at finding the open man, puts a lot of zip on his passes, and he knows he's responsible for getting his teammates the ball. A nice shot by Harris. This guy will really make you pay if you leave him enough room outside. Lillard against Ball. Lillard attacking. Passes it to Canner. Norkic in the post. He's guarded by AI. And the shot goes in. You love it when a big man has those soft hands. Rarely any problem converting that close to the rim. Alert against Ball. To the paint. Here's AI. Stop doing that. Second shot opportunity, and plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And Portland called for the foul. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. The first free throw is good. Lots of physical play, Clark, during your time in the NBA. That's been toned down to a degree. Do you miss it being a, a bigger part of the game now? You know what? I think it's still a very physical game. The rules have changed. The way the game is officiated has certainly changed. Some of the tough fouls that you saw in decades past don't exist as much. But I still think the game is extremely physical. So I'm glad to see us move in the direction of um, toning that down a bit. There's enough physicality in the game. And Lillard is going to pick up a foul. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Leonard's checked in, and the Lakers also making a change. Ingram's checked in. I'll tell you, he's beating up the defense in this quarter, going right at him and scoring in a variety of ways. AI passes to Ingram. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Hey, I know Ingram looks a little wispy and light, but his strength is deceptive. Contavious Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for the Lakers. Rondo comes in for Lance Stevenson. 
Hood against Caldwell Pope. Now here's Hood, guarded closer. High, arcing shot. That one will not drop. It's his first miss. He's four for five. Ingram kicks to Kuzma. No good on the three. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Offensive rebound. Wow. Here's Cantor. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. With this break, we have a chance to break down where the assist has been coming from tonight between the front and backcourt for Los Angeles. And their bigs have done the job. They can create some offense. They keep their heads up. They're playing unselfishly. You know, hopefully they can continue that, and they'll be able to gain some traction. And sometimes it seems the age of interior scoring big men has come and gone. Dennis Cantor, one of the rare big men who can dominate a game offensively in the paint, great hands and the strength to create space. Well, I tell you what, his vertical is awesome off the charts. A short center who still makes his presence felt. Lillard with it. He's picked up by Rondo. Here's Harkless. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It goes on Brandon Ingram. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. Yeah, really left him no choice there, Greg. I mean, he had to foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. And you talk about Canner's inside game, but he's got a solid jump shot. It looks very comfortable all the way out to 20 feet. I think before long, we may see him add a three-point shot to his repertoire. That's a two from Hood. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Lakers trail by 14. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. A three-pointer, no good. The pass to Harkless. And here's Canner. Hood for three. And he's good on the three ball. Hood's got 13 points. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. Back to Rondo. To the inside, AI. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajan Rondo. 15 points for AI. Here's Hood. 13 points in the game. He kicks it to Leonard. It's good only a few seconds into the shot clock. And the Trailblazers lead by 17. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Pass to AI. Caldwell Pope against Hood. Caldwell Pope with it. Five on the clock. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Leonard with the steal. And even three on three break. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, it is the era of positionless basketball, but how exactly did we get here? Well, new defensive rules at the turn of the century encouraged face-up scoring, motion-based offense, and guard play over isolation and post-ups. As a result, offensive roles have become more interchangeable. It has become a, a positionless game now. David, thank you very much. Kentavious Caldwell Pope, his defensive quickness sets him apart. The Trailblazers making a switch here. McCollum's checked in, and the Lakers also making a switch. Tyson Chandler, he's checked in for Rajon Rondo. To the middle, here's McCollum. Well, time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. McCollum's got 17. And there is no doubt that Lillard is a pure scorer. Uh, but it's good to see him focus on his passing, wanting to make his teammates better. Here's Ingram. A second chance effort. Here's AI. Well. They shoot again. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Wow. He's got 17. And you just hate to give up those second chance points. Yeah, those are back crushers. I mean, they really crack your back when you give teams second shots like that. Back to McCollum. Shoots over Ingram. 
McCollum, no yeah. good. Not surprising he missed that one, though, Kevin. I mean, the defense was very aggressive on him there. The 11-footer, good. And it's seven points for Brandon Ingram. And, you know, guys, not only can Ingram score from the perimeter, but he can get it done inside, too. I mean, the way he releases the shot and that extension he gets on it makes it very hard to block. Here's Willard. And he overshot that one, missing. Lakers trail by 15. Ingram attacking. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Ingram's got seven points for the quarter. And the speed of Ingram is, is not easy to keep up with. I mean, just blowing by whoever dares to try to stop him. Alert against Caldwell Pope. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Tyson Chandler. Well, Damian Lillard has never been one to doubt himself, and when he plays, he exudes confidence. Has a short-term memory, which allows him to keep attacking, even after he's missed a few. And that's the mentality you have to have on offense. He might be as good as any other guard in this game. Jake Lehman's checked in for the Trailblazers. LeBron's checked in for the Lakers. Yeah, he's costing them right now, sabotaging Ooh. them a little bit. He's got to find his shot if they want to win this game. Down low, kicks it out to Lillard. Back to Leonard. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got his fifth assist in this one. Now Caldwell Pope. Over Lillard. The nine-footer's on the mark. Caldwell Pope's got eight points. Okay, a really difficult cover, especially in these screen and rolls. I mean, Caldwell Pope is fantastic with his creativity. And so it's Portland riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Oh, oh that's yeah. a nice asset to have. It's a huge. Al Farouk Aminu, he's checked in for Portland. And he's then for Los Ooh. Angeles. AI is checked in for JaVale McGee. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Ingram. And Harris subbed in for Caldwell Pope. Taking a look at the Lakers. LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Lonzo Ball out there with Harris. And it's AI in at the five, roaming the paint. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Inside, stolen by Cantor. Cullen passes to Lehman. And it's good for two. And guys on defense gasping for air at this point. Well, I'll tell you what, Greg, what can they do? I mean, nobody can miss a shot. I mean, these guys are bringing it on offense right now. Lillard's checked in for Myers Leonard. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Ball kicks to James. Six on the shot clock. Unloads from 13. Here's A.I. Bust up in his finish in traffic. A.I.'s got 10 points in just the second half. Much love goes his way. I mean, he refused to give up on the glass. Huh? Nice to see him rewarded because of his hustle. And Lillard gets double teamed. Pass to Lehman from the arc. And James pulls it down. This shot's just, it's not there right now. With this team leading, perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Put that throttle down. Love seeing Kuzma on offense play with so much confidence. Cantor, good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got his sixth assist on the night. Excellent assist there. Just led him to the perfect spot. Harris against McCollum. Floats it up for AI. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. AI's got four this quarter. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Oh, here, here. Oh. 
Here's McCollum. He gets that one. McCollum's got 25 points in the game. Lakers trail by three. Now here is Harris. To the inside. And AI throws it down. Nice there, getting the reverse. Love that. And, and the fans got a little bit of a show there. Guys, that one definitely had a little something extra on it. A jaw-dropper emoji is what I look like right now. Incredible. No. From McCollum. No. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And extending the D there, putting a lot of pressure on the shooter. You're exactly oh, right. Big open Controlling shot. the perimeter well and didn't allow the shooter to get off a clean look. That's what you would call A plus defense. A floater, and he lays it up and in. He's got 27. Unbelievable basket. I mean, giving up a lot of height there, but he was not to be denied. Not when the game's hanging in the balance. That makes it a little different. He's going to get to the rim no matter who was standing in the way on that one. And the technical free throw is good. He's got ice water in his veins, fellas. No oh way God. he's going to miss it. Oh, my God. And so the big win by Portland in a tight game. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long, everyone. Wow. These guys, you guys have bigger scripts. We got a switch on defense. Who was coach calling out there? We good, we good. Stick together, y'all. Got no calls. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, that's it, man. I'll see y'all later. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha. Yeah.